morning everybody how you doing it's Tuesday right now we're in New Jersey we're about to get coffee and bagels later today we're gonna go into Red Bank which is a very cool town in New Jersey we're also gonna meet up with some of Stephanie's friends later so I will keep you guys updated as that goes on but for now we're gonna have coffee and bagels it's kind of overcast right now it's definitely warmer here than it was where my sister lives there's more green everywhere here if you look really closely you can see cats hiding in those bushes but anyway, for now, we're going to get something to eat. I will keep you guys updated as this day goes on. Just got our Rook coffee. See, here's the thing with Rook that's different about other coffee shops. First off, they only serve coffee, so that's the first thing they're doing right because anything else you're getting other than coffee. Secondly, it's so simple, it's so streamlined, it's so good. The quality of the coffees are excellent. I feel like when you do one thing, you have to do it really well, and they do that. There's no like, you know, they're going and getting really good beans from all over the world and they're taking the time to really see if they're worth selling. So it's really great. It's a really great system. They've opened up a bunch of stores. They're only in New Jersey, so you have to come well, here if you want to get it. It's also a roaster, so they roast yeah, that's true. them they're, every morning. They're also fresh. a roaster, so they roast them every morning fresh. So they're really great. You can, I think you can get it online if you want to try it. The other thing is the prices are really good. Like you can get a good bag of beans for $10. They're not trying to overcharge you. Anyway, enough coffee talk. We're going to go get the other New Jersey essential bagel. So we're on our way to Red Bank right now. Red Bank is a cool town. We were just talking about it. It's like the one place we were always like, if we had to move to New Jersey, we would pick Red Bank. Something interesting about Red Bank, I was talking about mall rats yesterday. The comic, what is it called? The Jay and Silent Bob's Secret Stash, the Kevin Smith store is there. So we'll go there, we'll film a little bit, we'll check it out and see if any of the dudes from Comic Book Man are there. Um, Chasing Amy was filmed there. I'm sure there's other movies that have been filmed in Red Bank, but it's a nice little town. There's also a good music store, Jack's. It's good, so we're gonna go and uh, check it out. So we're at the Riverside Garden Park, went to Jack's, got the Gorillaz albums I've been looking for. Whenever you need an album, you can usually find it at Jack's. We were gonna go into the comic book store, Jay and Silent Bob's Secret Stash, but there's all these notes. It won't be the same without you. So like kind of weird vibes. I think one of the guys from uh, Comic Book Men died. It's a nice sleepy day in Red Bank. Gonna go home in a little while, got some stuff to do. I'm selling something that's at 70's Mom's House on Craigslist. So I'm gonna make sure I'm meeting up with that guy. Then I think we're going to go see a movie. You know, it's that kind of day. Anyway, we're going to keep you updated as this day goes on. Just wanted to say hello, show you my purchase from Jax. Check in in a bit. Wait, so the Mark guy is not dead. There's just a bunch of like signs on the door that make it seem like he's dead. Okay, that's a little nicer. Anyway, we're going to go in now that there isn't those kind of weird vibes. I don't know how much filming I can do in there because like it's kind of like a TV set. I'll see what I can do. Let's go. Back at Stephanie's mom's house. In a little while, we're going to the movies. 
There's this guy that I'm playing like phone tag and now real life tag with on Craigslist. He wants to buy this thing right here. It's a Tascam MIDI Studio 688. It's actually pretty cool. Like the more I look at it, I'm like, oh man, I don't want to sell. But at the same time, money's cool. But this is something I used a lot in New York City days. Recorded a bunch of albums on it. It's like the creme de la creme of cassette recorders. Turns on, it works just fine. Yeah, if he buys it, that's cool. I'll mail some other gear out to pay for it. But if not, I'll just get this sent out to Portland eventually. Anyway, Stephanie's eating lunch. I'm going to go join her. Got back from seeing the movie Keanu. Very cute, very funny, very adorable. Two thumbs up. One, two. Anyway, this guy is coming to get this thing right now. So that is totally fine. Money's always good to have. So he's going to come get that. And then after that, we're going to go meet with some of Stephanie's friends. So we will take this camera as we go. We will update you with that. Let's see what happens. Hey, we just made it to Asbury Park. We're going, as I said, to meet with Stephanie's friends. She's right there. Greetings from Asbury Park. It's a good album title name. got back to Stephanie's house now we're gonna go to bed and then tomorrow finally go back to Portland I feel like this trip has been quite a long time but it's been great anyway I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow I'm gonna go edit this now take care oh who's that <laughs>